Hey there guys, Neil here with an app review. Uh, so for this app review, I wanted to review uh, an app that recently got support for Android 6's Doze Mode, but also works for prior versions of Android in a similar capacity, but aims to in, um, essentially inc improve your device's performance as close to the first day you got your device as possible, but then also save system resources and hopefully um, improve your the battery life of your device as well. So the app itself is called Greenify, and what it does is once you've added apps into your the Greenify list, it will hibernate those apps in the background so you don't have to uh, worry about uh, rogue apps uh, using system resources or even apps that you normally use using up your system resources and using up extra battery. So um, the one thing you may will notice is when you go into the settings for the app is that a lot of the settings are related to having uh, root on your device and having the exposed framework, but having root is not a requirement for using the app, but it does allow you to have certain extra features and then donating to the developer also adds even more features. So I will get, I'll, I'll cover the Android Doze um, feature first as I don't have that on my running, or I don't have Android 6 on my device to test it, but it is a pretty cool feature. So as part of Android 6, a new feature was uh, included called Doze, which improves your ba device's battery life by turning off all surfaces except for essential uh, system uh, services when it goes idle and not plugged in. So basically it extends your battery life by not allowing apps to run. But let's say you want to disable apps um, as soon as your screen is turned off just to um, get that started because you know they're going to be using that much extra battery. So that's where Greenify comes in. Um, essentially once you've added the apps to the Greenify list, as soon as your screen is turned off or you run uh, Greenify, it will, they will be put into Hibernate so they no longer uh, run until the next time you run that app. So basically enabling it is um, a current uh, experimental feature because it just got released. So something worth checking out, but um, as always, since it's early, be careful while using it. But uh, some of the other features that are available um, if you have a rooted device with exposed framework is for example the wake up timer coalescing so if you have android 4.4 and above that greenify app will monitor um, cpu usage and wake up timers to uh, reduce ex excessive battery usage and waste um, to ensure maximum battery um, length and minimize apps using um, battery when they should not should not or using extra system resources when they should not be so something worth checking out i do have it enabled so i'm playing around or getting used to that and then there's also telephone monitoring or so uh, wake up. So in case you do get phone calls and SMSs and things like that, then and you have your those related apps hibernated, then Greenify will not interfere with receiving those notifications. So you will still get uh, phone calls and text messages and all of that good stuff. And the same thing with removing notifications. If you have that in, um, feature um, enabled, then things like uh, email and any other app that sends a notification will not, like, basically Greenify will not interfere with that. And then lastly, blocking app state abuse. So if you have apps that don't or do not need um, high priority notifications, but do it anyways, then you can block that so they don't excessively use your system resources or battery. So the app, so Greenify can monitor that as well. Um, if you donate to the developer, then you can also get features like deep hibernation so you can prevent apps from waking up other apps if you have that kind of link going on. And then greenifying system apps if you want to do that. It's not necessarily um, recommended, but if there are um, pre-installed apps that you don't want to um, have consistent, continuously running in the background and you want to make sure they're always are disabled and hibernated when your screen is off, then that can be um, handled as well. Um, so with that, I'll jump into using the app itself. Um, so you'll see that I've already added a bunch of um, apps here that I basically, I use on vary, to varying degrees, but I want to make sure that they are um, hibernated when my screen is off. So I'll do a quick check. I have a few um, items running in the background. Um, I'll actually open, for example, let's say ES File Explorer, mm -hmm. and let's say 
uh, Easy Voice Recorder Pro, just for mm -hmm. the sake of argument. Um, and then I'll go into Greenify. You'll see that now they show up as um, the apps will hibernate in minutes after I assume the screen is off. Um, or you can manually do it if you want to um, hibernate. Let's say you have a whole list of all your apps are listed as um, currently being used. You can hibernate them all manually. So if you when you touch the Z's um, at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see you'll get a little toaster notification and they'll all now be hibernated. So now they're no longer um, using your system resources to uh, sum it up as, uh, as quickly as possible. Um, you can also have home screen shortcuts for um, in two to do t uh, two different things, but ultimately results in the same thing. So let's say your screen you're using you've been using your device for a little bit and you want to uh, hibernate your apps. You can touch the hibernate now uh, home screen widget. Since there's nothing to hibernate right now, you'll see a toaster not notification. But to save yourself the time and effort of going to Greenify and pushing the button, you can have that widget there as well. Um, the other one is Hibernate plus Lock Screen. So what this does is the same thing as the other home screen widget in that it hibernates all apps and then turns off your screen. So touching your screen like that and your apps will get hibernated and your screen turns off. So if, you're, if you need to leave quickly um, and you don't want to worry about hibernating your apps, then that is possible. Mm -hmm. So um, that is um, the three basic ways of doing that. Uh, one of the other cool features is that let's say you're on a custom ROM or you now you have exposed framework installed and you've installed um, a module called Gravity Box. What you can do is set a mm -hmm. home sc screen uh, shortcut to um, Greenify's Hibernate or uh, now or Hibernate plus lock screen. So if you want to manually hibernate that way, you can save yourself a home screen shortcut and um, have that there. So you'll see off to the right, I have um, that set up. Um, this is something that shows up by going into your settings um, into, for example, I'm on CyanogenMod Mod 11. So under buttons and layout, or mm -hmm. sorry, not buttons and layout, but quick launch shortcuts, mm -hmm. I can uh, set that target to do whatever I want. So by selecting application, uh, I can go down or go to Hibernate plus lock screen or Hibernate now, pick up whichever one I want. I normally have it set up to, uh, to uh, just lock the screen, so Hibernate plus lock screen is a mm -hmm. uh, slightly mm -hmm. better alternative uh, for me. So this is for this uh, mm -hmm. was done via the Cyanogen mod settings, but if you have gravity, mm -hmm. or if you have the gravity box module installed, then that uh, shortcut can be done that way as well. So that is really all there is for that. Um, the other thing to note is that it does not interfere with your recent app uh, listing. So you'll see that Easy Voice Recorder and ES File Explorer still show up. So if I need to get to them again, um, it's going to launch as if it um, basically that I'm clicking on reopening that app to begin with again. So um, it does not interfere there. Um, same thing here. Let's do Easy Voice Recorder. So same thing there. Um, it mm -hmm. launches as if it's the first time launch and uh, runs accordingly. And when I go back into Greenify, it, they show up as being recently used again. So um, that's all there is for that. I'm still getting a little bit used to the battery usage. Um, I've noticed, I've definitely noticed a performance um, improvement. So every time I unlock my device, it's as if um, I just uh, got the device and it's running super smooth, apps launch very fast, very smooth for my device's capabilities. Um, so that might vary depending on how new or old your device is and what specs you have. But if you have a number of apps installed, so you'll see I have all these various apps with varying sync capabilities and what they do in the background. So um, not having them run when my screen is off is definitely an upside. Um, as far as battery usage, I have noticed that it's been a little bit better. But because I do have uh, various other modules installed, I haven't decided which one, if any, are being um, may adversely affect battery usage. So background YouTube playback, attendance status bar, when I have for uh, various apps for material design, things like that. So um, basically, as far as I can tell, um, Greenify will basically give you the best battery life for uh, what you have installed and how much you have uh, syncing to begin with. So 
it's gonna as far as i can tell it's gonna be something that or it's, it's an app that basically provides you the best resource management and battery usage based on your device's capabilities so definitely an app worth checking out uh, for me i do definitely like that every time i turn on my device i'm gonna get the best performance and my battery and basically it comes down to as far as i'm concerned the best battery life so i have noticed that my i've gained a few extra percentage um point um improvements by using greenify um with everything i have installed so it's definitely an upside if you have nothing much going on so for example i do have a a lollipop theme running and a tinted um status bar module going on so i know i'm sure that it um uh uses a couple of extra battery points but on the flip side greenify helps to get that back so i'm not getting any um, or I'm not losing any extra battery points or battery percentage points by uh, what I have going on. Um, and the other thing is I know that um, Bluetooth is a big or one of the bigger battery, I don't want to say hogs, but uh, something that uses battery a little bit extra. So I have noticed that um, I do have a little bit of uh, performance um, improvement there because I know for sure that apps are not going to be the, are not using um battery while I um, have my screen off and in my pocket. So um, it's definitely worth checking out. The app is available for free in Google Play and then if you like it and want and you do root your device and want some of the extra features then there is a donate button or uh, donate app available to install. It's basically a key to unlock some of the extra features. Um, at last check it was $2.99 um, and I would recommend it at the moment if you do want some of those um, aggressive features and if you want to try out um, some of the system freezing features in case you have app or um, system apps that are using extra battery you know, and you want to see if not having them running in the background helps you. But uh, that is all for this particular screencast. So if you want to uh, um, reach out to me if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want further thoughts on performance um, and things like that. You can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, a bit of other um, update just to expand on uh, my device. I am still using the Amazon Fire Phone. I'm running Cyanogen Mod 11, so as close to stock um, Android 4.4.4. .4 .4, um, as possible so it's just something to consider there um at last check i think it was about a 24 uh 100 milliamp hour battery so um basically i get about eight to ten hours of overall battery life so i'm getting kind of used to that um i haven't had a chance to check lately as far as all day um battery usage um i'm generally really close to a charger so it hasn't been an issue but I do know that going um, out and about that um, basically performance, I know I will sum it up as performance has definitely improved battery. I'm still get uh, testing, but um, basically it's a net uh, sum of zero as far as what's being used and then uh, the improvements that Greenify provides. So I will say that it is a benefit just because I'm not uh, losing those extra battery points. But as I, I, as I said, if you have any questions or comments or want further input, you can always reach out to me. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.